That's really cool intro music. <laughs> What's up guys, CO here with the first episode of something brand new for the channel. Um, it's been about two years since I've uploaded um, Super Mario Maker stuff to the channel, um, but if you don't know, I absolutely love platformers. Um, it's just a game I grew up on as a kid, um, more than any other game, and um, all of the Maker games that have been coming out really lately for them are pretty cool. And um, I just actually recorded like a 20 minute video of me going through the tutorial of this, but it turns out I didn't have a uh, microphone on. Um, but basically this is a really cool free game um, that just got released yesterday, um, the f July 15th I guess. I don't know when I'm uploading this. Um, this will probably go up pretty quick honestly. Um, turn around on it's not really that hard to make since I basically just record it and actually <laughs> produce it, which is kind of rare for my videos. Um, but anyway, this game just came out yesterday, um, there's a lot of really cool stuff to do. I guess I'm gonna go through the tutorial again, because it was a pretty good, um, <clears throat> this, or, like, a good guide on the game. Um, but basically, if you've ever played Super Mario Maker, this is pretty much the same thing, but it's for Mega Man, and in my opinion, it's a little bit better, and it's, like, customization options. Um, I'm not really gonna go ahead and read over this text, because there is kind of a lot of it now that I know how much there is. Um, but basically, um, fans have wanted this game for a while, um, who knows, it may actually come out for real, it's, like, at some point, but for now, this fan game does a pretty damn good job of, um, covering for a lot of it, in my opinion. Um, but basically, Doctors, uh, Wily and Light here are gonna go ahead and, uh, help us out. I'm gonna start clicking to get through this text slightly faster, because, like I said, there is kind of a lot of it. Um, but... I was very pleasantly surprised with how good the editor was on my first run through of this. Um, now that I know a little bit more about it, I'll try to make a better level than I did the first time. <coughs> Alright, so starting off, this doesn't look like a very good editor at all, I know. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just leave a couple of platforms and then like a couple down here or something and go up to here, I'll say. Um, let's go to here, actually. <laughs> so, stage looks empty because we didn't have this toolbar up at the top. Um, this toolbar, it looks um, a little simple because it just looks like it has a, only a couple of options, but once uh, you get a little bit farther in the tutorial, you're able to access a couple more drop-down menus. Um, so, like here, uh, we'll just put a metang up there, or a meta. I forget what they call them in this game, um, but we'll put one of them up there just because it's kind of like the stereotypical Mega Man enemy. Um, so <clears throat> obviously being able to only use Mets would be kind of boring, uh, so you're able to, um, <clears throat> sorry, you're able to uh, not use that one. Click here and it apparently has a lot of options sorted by every game. Um, I was really impressed at first when it was just these options. So I was like, okay, there's a decent amount of variety. Um, but they have enemies from Mega Man's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, and you can combine all of them into the same level, so like you don't have to have just like a Mega Man 1 themed level with these specific tile set or something like that. Um, you can mix and match like across everything. Um, it ends up making for a lot of really cool strategies that... Um, obviously you don't see in other Mega Man games because these are just the enemies from those games. Um, I don't really know too much about them specifically because I haven't gotten into the editor too much yet, um, but we'll just go ahead and put, um, I don't know if these guys turn around or not, but we'll put one over there and if it doesn't turn around we'll just look like a dumbass, but that's fine. <laughs> it's a great selection of enemies. So, uh, one of the cool things about this editor is that you're also able to um, put in a couple of different stage gimmicks that aren't really, um, well, the st stage gimmicks specifically for the pickups are pretty straightforward, but you're also able to put in stuff like checkpoints, which I don't think are in Mega Man games, um, water sections within water levels, which is cool, um, the bomb platforms that only stay up for a couple of seconds, um, the little teleporter things, which I believe... I forget which boss they're in, but they use them again in uh, Mega Man 9, I believe. Um, and I believe these are like the laser beams and like stage platforms that are unique for each game. So like, we'll go ahead and, and add one of these springs here, I guess, because I assume that we can make it up here with that. 
um, but like as you can see you can mix and match a ton of stuff across every single game so um, while you don't want to go overboard with it there's a lot of potential to be able to mix stuff which is pretty cool um, another interesting thing that um, this thing or this game has over Mario Maker in my opinion is the ability to mix and match backgrounds and um, block tile sets um, I don't really like that one that much. Um, we'll go Mountain 1. That's better. Um, so one of the cool things is um, in Mario Maker you have like the set background and like quote unquote themes that you can use I guess. Um, so like you can use like Super Mario Bros. 1 Ghost House or something like that. Um, and you're able to play it in Super Mario Bros. 1 and it's a ghost house. But you can't really mix and match, so like I couldn't bring like elements of Super Mario World into Super Mario Bros. 1, or I couldn't bring elements of ghost house themes into like castle stuff. Um, so it kind of limited like how much you could actually create, in my opinion, and make it like feel unique. Um, this game already lets you mix and match so much stuff that I feel like every level is going to feel pretty different for a while. Um, unless people just get lazy with it, I guess, but there's the potential for a lot of people to do some really cool stuff with this. Um, so yeah, obviously don't use nothing but spikes and levels, because that's bad level design, but we are going to go ahead and put one here, because it doesn't really make sense for there to be a ladder. <laughs> um, and I guess we'll just put it right here, and... Why not? We'll go back up here. And one of the cool things is even though this is the same spike, um, obviously the sprite changes, which is kind of cool. Um, we don't need to specifically have like these floating sideways spikes in the middle of the air to make it look ugly because it automatically puts it into a float, which is cool. Um, so this level obviously doesn't look very hard so far, but I'm kind of just trying to... Uh, figure things out still. So we'll just put Mega Man in the middle of the level and have him going right. So obviously single screen game wouldn't really be very much fun. Uh, so you can go ahead and use the arrow keys to scroll the screen over and actually see that there's like more out here. Um, you can also um, connect which way the screens actually scroll, which is really cool. Um, so in order to activate a new screen, I guess, um, you have to have ground on it, which um, I guess makes sense. But So we'll just go ahead and put a couple of tiles here, and then you can see that this screen instantly pops up. Um, so basically what this says, um, in true Mega Man fashion, I guess, uh, when you go that way, the screen scrolls that way, basically. Um, so if you don't want to do that, um, the game is basically going to tell you that you can break the thing by clicking right here. Um, and then uh, you'll have to go like up and around or down and around or something like that to be able to access the screen. Um, so even if you don't have a wall right here or whatever, you can prevent the player from going over, which is kind of cool. Um, so in order to be able to do an upward and downward uh, scroll, you do have to have a ladder, um, which is kind of a unique throwback to Mega Man games because I don't think there was really a screen transition without a ladder. Um, at least not that I remember. Um, I, I have played like pretty much every Mega Man game, I think, but it's been a while, so. Um, uh, <clears throat> so one of the cool things about this game um, is that in addition to all of the stuff that it has for Mega Man 1 through 6, it also does have a little bit of custom stuff. Um, like if you don't want the level to end on a boss fight, which is pretty rare for a Mega Man game, obviously. Um, if you don't want the level to end on a boss fight, you can just have like a little party ball, which is kind of like the uh, orb in Super Mario World or something like that, where it just kind of ends the level automatically. Um, or you can just have like something to pick up and that's that, I guess. Um, you can also have boss doors, which is really cool. Um, so I'll basically just go ahead and um, create like a super, super simple um, platforming screen here, and then we'll just go ahead and create a boss arena for the screen. Um, I think the boss arena stuff is right here? Yeah, okay. So I've never actually done the boss arena stuff, so this will... Oh, wait a minute. Um, I think that I want this one. 
And I want it going that way. And I want to get rid of this one. Um, and then put another one over here. Okay. So, this is a very simple level. Um, obviously, it's not even like very good graphically, but there's only so much you can do when you're trying to like very quickly whip stuff up. Um, if you guys are interested though, I would be more than happy to like actually make levels that are hopefully fun to play and stuff and upload them um, and kind of talk about my thought process as to why I'm actually making uh, certain things the way I am. Um, I, I, I don't know, <laughs> I've always really liked level design stuff and uh, personally I uh, always wanted to be a level designer but never really uh, went to school for it or anything so I just satisfy it with Mario Maker or whatever. Um, okay, so it's pretty basic obviously. Um, it's not even really like the greatest platform in the world but hopefully it'll be something. And uh, like they said, make sure that you reward the player at least a little bit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give two so the person's like back up to full, I guess. Um, so I don't really know what most of these enemies do if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, uh, but that's fine. Uh, sorry the commentary kind of went away the second I was trying to create the rest of this level, but I just kind of wanted to focus and not give hot garbage because the first level I made was pretty bad. <laughs> it was like one screen of complete trash and then um, a little bit of trash for a boss fight that somehow constituted a boss I guess. Um, this one at least somewhat looks like a level I guess. Um, okay so we will now create a boss arena which it looks like we already did and I guess I need either a ladder or a oh that might be kind of fun actually. Um, I was going to do ladders in here but just now thought that springs might be a little fun and tie it into the beginning of the level. Uh, so we'll do one here, one here, one here, and one here. Okay. Um, and I guess we'll just put the spring right there and right there. <laughs> okay, so Another cool thing about this that you can't really do, um, in addition to make boss fights um, a little bit more fun, um, you can also have um, enemies in the boss arena also. Um, obviously don't go crazy with this because then it's just going to be a nightmare, but um, it is kind of cool that you're able to do that. Um, we'll just go ahead and have Cutman to keep it simple, I guess. Um, he's a fairly straightforward boss, I would say. Uh, but one of the cool things, like uh, Dr. Wiley was saying, is that you're actually able to change the weaknesses and stuff. So like if I don't want him to be weak to anything, but I do want him to be immune to something, um, I can do that. Um, if I wanted to have slightly different boss music, I could do that too. So I'll probably just go with Wily one, um, but obviously they have a lot of uh, different musics and stuff in there, and that's just like within a submenu of a submenu, which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so we'll just go ahead and keep this fairly straightforward. Uh, there are three more icons over here. Um, gear settings allow you to basically change um, what type of Mega Man you're playing. Um, so like Super uh, Mario Maker, where you can kind of basically choose between Mega Man's one through six. Um, if you don't want sliding but you want shard shots or something, you can have it like that. If you want it to be more like a Mega Man 1, you can reverse that or just not have anything up here. Um, background color I was really excited for, but unfortunately it's just like the background color of this over to the side. It's not actually the background color of the levels. Uh, I thought that you were able to change the palettes and I was about to be like super excited, but um, thought I'd just break that for you guys now. 
Um, so I will go ahead actually and clean this up really quick because I oh I have to specifically do this. Uh, so co tutorial two because this is actually the second tutorial level I made. Uh, so I already changed the level name. I guess it's not letting me edit stuff right now. Um, I really want to change this to have two parts so that way I can actually jump off of it. But anyway. Um, this next part's really cool because it also lets you choose um, what weapons you have specifically for each level. Um, right now, since the game just came out, there's not really a ton, but um, there are three per game, as well as a couple of custom uh, weapons that are pretty fun. Um, I don't actually remember what Mega Beam is, if I'm being perfectly honest, uh, but the rest of them are all pretty cool, uh, iconic weapons, I guess. Uh, like, so we'll give Metal Blade, and we'll give... You, like, you don't want to give too much, because obviously the level just beca kind of becomes a joke then, I guess. Um, but we'll just give a couple of things so players have stuff if they want it. Um, and then this icon is probably my personal favorite, and it lets you choose the rest of the music um, for the rest of the level. Um, obviously the boss tune has its own thing. Um, but each of these tracks is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Time Man because that was the one that I had for my other tutorial level So I'll just keep the theme going because the song rocks um, Okay, so Then you get to save it check and Basically like Mario Maker you have to play your level and make sure it's actually possible um, They don't really do a very good job. Oops, I made a wall of that guy, but whatever um, they don't do a great job of telling you like what the controls actually are for this game, uh, but it's basically enter for pause, W, A, S, or not W, A, S, D, um, up, down, left, right on the control stick, or um, arrow keys. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of controlling this either. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this actually because this is hella annoying. Um, so I had technically created a level, but it's not a very good level. Um, I wanted to change some stuff, but since it's a tutorial, I don't think it's going to let me. <laughs> uh, but basically, as you can see, you have to play your own level um, before you upload it. Uh, you have to be able to beat it. Um, just goes to show that the levels are actually all possible that are all online, which is nice. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty excited about Mega Maker. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. There's a lot of customization that you can have. Um, I, fingers crossed this game stays up long enough to really see like a community develop behind it to be perfectly honest um, but I think there's a lot of potential here um, if you guys like this video please like subscribe um, I'll go ahead and keep this series up if people like it I guess um, but for now have a good one bye